one is a towel. I, w I did say fit stick, but you don't even need that. Towel and mat, towel and mat, light hand weight. Let me get on here. Hey, good morning, Judy. Good morning, Autumn Rose. Let me <laughs> get on here and see how I am looking. Good morning. Give me just a minute. Y'all know I got to set up and I'm probably all the time crooked, aren't I? Oh yeah, I'm crooked. Let me say good morning to you right now. <laughs> Let me get myself. So I'm not crooked for you guys. I've been looking for an Apple phone leveler, but if you guys have a good suggestion for me, I need like a bubble leveler and it has to be able to hold my phone and it has to be a tripod. So let's see what I got here. All right. Oh, I think I leveled it good. I'm gonna stick with it. Okay, good morning, Megan P. Good morning, Jane Butcher, beautiful. Hey, Judy, have a beautiful, beautiful day, okay? So, let's go ahead and let's talk about what we need today. Oh my goodness, you guys, there's my towel. I was like, okay, I'm telling you to grab a towel. Okay, so you're gonna just want a towel that you can basically roll up. So do you have a pair of light hand weights? Let's go through today's class. Hello, hello. So for the first part of class today, it's going to be cardio. It's going to be apartment friendly, barefoot friendly, no noise, because we're not jumping, we're not stomping. It's gonna be feel good today. But look at me, you're gonna work. Did I say you're gonna work? Yeah, you're gonna work. Okay, so the first part of class is like a barefoot, apartment friendly, no noise, not the music, no noise in the sense of ah, pounding. All right, so it's gonna be a beautiful, sweaty, low impact, feel good, cardio sculpt mix. I'm gonna use my three pound dumbbells. So you have to decide for you what you want. Second part of class, we're gonna have a quick warm up. We're gonna do Pilates core, Pilates back. We're gonna do then a yoga fusion with rotation and hip opening. You all know I am a RYT 200 level certified yoga instructor. Look me up in Yoga Alliance because that's where we have to be certified. You don't have to be certified, but it's highly recommended. So I am a registered RYT 200 level instructor. And I've been, you guys, I don't even think I tell you much, but I have been certified or got my paid like $8,000 for my yoga training. Yeah. I went to, I went to two yoga schools, two yoga schools. I don't think I ever told you that, but I went to two yoga schools two 200 hour yoga schools separate. So I have like, I mean, I have over 400 hours in it. I'm certified in two schools. Yeah. So I know I just don't teach it enough to you guys because I teach so many different formats. It's crazy, but enough about me. It's not about me today. It is about us. So let's all of us get in that mindset today. We are teammates. We are partners in today's workout. We're a group of, let me look, let me tell you how many are on. We're like, I can't even see like 16, 30 people usually get on. So we are a group of individuals from all over the world working together. We're supporting, we're nurturing, and we're getting our workout in. So I'm gonna say that's enough talk, right? Yeah, Angie, enough talk. Let's get to it. We're gonna start with the warm up. You don't need any hand weights. We always start with the warm up. So let me finish by just saying hello to anybody who, and I did say hi to beautiful Laura and Virginia, and I did say Autumn Rose, and uh, Autumn Rose, my granddaughter who's gonna be born in December, her middle name is gonna be Rose. They think they're gonna call her Tanner Rose. So I just love your name, Autumn Rose. Okay, we're gonna get warmed up right now. You don't need anything, just your body. Now the beats aren't that high, and I keep the beats low, lower because this is a feel good class. Let me turn up the music for you. Okay. Oh. Oh, let's just do heels. Hello, everyone. Are you ready for two, can I talk? For two days, apartment friendly, no noise, barefoot, cardio sculpt. This is a feel good workout. 
yes, we're gonna rev up our metabolism because we're gonna pick up those light hand weights and we're gonna do some beautiful sculpting. Today's workout is all standing. Don't you love it? Let's go. Oh, start to grab a rope. Now, whoo, nice, slow and easy. Just a beautiful warm up. No jarring of the joints. Can you tap the toes? Pull it down. So this workout is not a light, easy workout, but it's not a hard push workout. It's like a light, light to slash, light, moderate workout today. I call them feel good workouts because you push and you work. But we're gonna be a little bit lower intensity today. Keep the tap, pull it down. Whew, did I tell you, y'all know my name is Angie. Thank you for being here today with me. Such a blessing. We get to move our body together, everyone. Whew, now tap insole. You love the music? Whew, I'm going back to some very classical music. You're gonna hear Beethoven. You're gonna hear Mozart. This is a Canon D. Beautiful, just uplifting, feel good music today with some driving music in between. I'm gonna keep today very simple, very basic, so you can really get into the move. Whew. Are y'all getting nice and warm? All right, heel to your butt, touch. Yeah. You got that beautiful smile on your face. Yes, it's such a privilege that we're moving our bodies together. Can you tap it? Let's go. This is it. We're gonna grab our light hand weights after this. Woo! So for me, my light hand weights, are gonna be three pounds. We're not done with our warm up, just really letting you know what's coming up next. Let's step touch, step touch right here. So just take it out down to the side. Woo! Beautiful. Just about warming up, that's it. Nice and big, very quiet on your feet. I did say this was like a no noise on the floor workout. So really, very apartment friendly, you guys, because we're not jumping, we're not like, ugh, smashing into the ground. Now you also know, you can do this workout with shoes if you need that extra support. Absolutely. Whew. Now one chest, one down. Are you getting nice and warm? So you feeling those beats? The beats are 120. So they allow us to move and really focus on the big movement. Oh, let this music just guide you. Such a beautiful song. Let's go. Woo! Just fill your cup up. Such an uplifting track. March it right to left. Just march. Right here, remember, this, the intention for today is light, light moderate. It's a feel good day. Deep breath in. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Can you grab your light hand weights for me? Right now, I'm gonna grab my threes. All right. 
Cardio sculpt track. Woo! Cardio sculpt track. When you're ready, you've just got your weights. You're gonna do heels right to left. Yeah, you got the heels. You got those light hand weights in your hand that serve the tray. Up, working biceps from the side. There we go. Whoo, this is where we start to get really sweaty, you guys. How's everybody doing? Are you saying good, Angie? Yeah? The intention for today, you gotta set it. It's that feel good, that feel good intensity, you guys. Side tap, side. Don't you just love this music? Hey, here's another fact. I played the flute in band, middle school and high school, marching band. Give me heels. Woo! Oh, we are so blessed. We get to move our bodies today. Yeah? All right, you're gonna tap. Now you're gonna press it up. Woo! Oh yeah, major cardio sculpt. Revving up that metabolism. All right, heels serve the tray. I told you I'm gonna keep it simple and easy, but really gonna work it today. Come on. Whoo, third set of four. Are you ready? Let's tap and punch. Whoo, those three pounds are really packing a punch. I'm still in that feel good zone. All right, let's do the heel serve the tray. Whoo, why don't you sit back in a little mini squat? Let's start to activate whoo, the glutes, the quads, and the hamstrings. Let's tap side, press it up. Whoo, come on. You got it. Push. Whoo. Whoo. You're going to do heels, thumbs up, press it down and in. You're no longer serving the tray. Sit back in your heels just a little bit. Sit back in those heels just a little bit. Whoo. Now you're going to tap your toes. You're going to punch, 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 punch. Cardio sculpt because you got those light hand weights. We're working muscular endurance, high repetition. All right, thumbs up. Ooh, yeah, second set. You got four sets. Ooh, we have cardio hit after this. Yes, barefoot, apartment friendly style. Punch it down. You're not jumping, you're just tapping. Now, as you punch down, you feel those shoulders work, feel the back work. Huh. Thumbs up with the heel. Suit it back. Working the brachioradialis. Ooh, yes, that is a bicep muscle. Third set here. Control your heel down. Punch it down, tap right to left. Quiet. It's all about that big movement. Point that toe. Ooh, I know you're starting to break a sweat. Last set. Thumbs up, heels. Oh, baby. Working it nice and quiet as you land in those heels. Feel the quads work. Feel those quads work. Oh, let's punch, tap it down. Quiet tap. Boom. Come on. All right, just give me heels. I'm gonna let you just settle it down a bit. It is that feel good cardio. Just a little breath. <sighs> Whew. Shake it off. We're gonna go out to the side and down. Here we go. One. Ooh, right here. Finish. Yes, put your weights down. Are you ready for six opportunities of low impact quiet? Cardio hit. Yeah, you are. Move around. All right. We're going to do, ah, 
Right elbow, left knee driver. It's gonna say hit it. Hit it! I don't care how fast or how slow. Right here, you're just landing that big toe on the ground. Drive that right elbow to the left knee. Hoop. Nice and quiet. Yeah? I told you you're gonna work today. Rest. Oh. Why don't you kiss that left elbow? Left elbow, right knee. Very quiet when that right foot goes to the ground. Move. Hit it! Come on. I'm gonna give you four more opportunities after this. Revving up that metabolism. Low impact. Go as slow or as fast as you choose to go. Always listen to your body, your workout. Rest. Next one. Soft bend in that right knee. Nice and quiet. Focus on the lift. I don't care how fast or how slow. Shoulders back. Hit it! Focus on the lift. Hip, knees, toes pointing forward. Soft bend in that right knee. Running man arms if you can. Hip abduction right here. Working the right quad as well. Working balance as I'm making you lift that left leg. Yes. Off the ground. Balance, quad, core. Look at me. You are strong. Soft bend in the left knee. Shoulder set back. Hip abduction, quad. Hip knees, toes forward. Come on, push. Your timing. You get to go as fast or as slow as you choose to go. Rest. You get two more opportunities. Watch me. Soft bend in the stabilizing leg. The big toe is the only thing that lands. Working glutes and hamstrings. Yes, you are strong. High five. Go. Pick a leg. Try to do those running man arms if you can. Really feel that glute activate and that hamstring. You're gonna feel that stabilizing leg, that quad work. It's on fire. Lift that heel to the ceiling. Running man arms. Rest. One more opportunity for the other leg. What are you made of? Get that fire under your butt, internal flame. Get ready. When they say hit it, go. Your timing. You don't have to go to the beat. Whoo, the sight's locked up on me. It is your timing. Really feel that hamstring and that glute. Activate. Come on. Recover. 30 seconds recovery. Grab water. Very small swig of water. Very small swig of water. We are going back into sculpting with our light hand weights. Whew. You guys are moving. Beautiful job. Good morning, Spade. I want to say good morning to you. Good morning, Cheryl Aaron. Good morning. Who? Now, again, apartment friendly, no noise means uh, no bouncing down hard. Control the down. So today's workout, 
You're here to control your movement, not just <laughs> haphazard. You're moving around. You get 30 seconds recovery. Move around your room. Walk around. I want that heart rate to come down on purpose. I'm doing some heart rate monitor training with you guys. You've got to learn to peak your heart rate, take it down, come back up. All right, here we go. Track four of six. We're going into some beautiful cardio sculpt. Now we're going to go into a lunge and overhead press. Take that right leg back. One, two, and we're going to alternate to the left right here. Woo, cardio sculpt track. We have six tracks in today's workout right here. Light hand weights. Now your feet are on a railroad track. Whew. Did you know the rear lunge is the most friendly for the knee? But again, you're gonna listen to your body and you're gonna modify accordingly. Whoop. Let's go. Overhead press, you're working back extension, shoulders. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay, you don't want to throw your weight right here. Don't throw your weight. Why did I do that? <laughs> Woo. Two more. Beautiful. We're going to do eagle arms. Feet hip width apart. Fly. Soft bend in your elbows. Sit back in your heels. Working. And through your cervical thoracic, your mid back for posture. Eight more. Here we go. Eight. Eagle arms. Seven. You're flying. Six. Now melt your shoulders away from your ears. No tension in your head, neck, or shoulders. Are you ready for the right leg to go back again? One, two, three. Yeah. When you go back, we are working quads. We're working a little bit of glutes. Ah, just a little bit of hamstrings. So it's a beautiful lower body. Sculpt. Now when you lift your arms over your head, feel those back extensors engage. Beautiful. Ready, second set. Eagle arm, 16. One, feet hip width apart. Sit back in your heels. Beautiful exercise for posture. Open up through your chest. Soft bend in your elbows, fly, soar, high above, eight more, eight, seven, six for posture. A lot of us sit at a desk all day. Whoo, just fly. You ready, third set, right leg back. One, two, oh, beautiful track for posture and lower body. That's what today's workout is all about. Whew. Feel good, but we're pushing. Make sure you're in the feel good zone. You're not over pushing, not under pushing, just really in that feel good. I got it, this feels fabulous zone. Are you ready, third set? Fly, eagle, fly. Really, make sure you don't have tension in the head, neck, or shoulders. Sit back in your right and left heel, nice and evenly. Engage the lower body. Eight more. We're gonna run through this one more time. Whoo, fly. Feel that opening, feel that toning in through your back. Chest opens up as you fly back. You ready? Last set, reverse lunge. Move through that wet cement. You control the movement. Four more, four more. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm sweating, but it's a feel good sweat today, partner. Come on, teammate. Give me what you got, look at me. You've got this. Are you ready? Last set of ingle arms, team. Fly, last set to fly. Sit back in your heels, lift your toes off the ground. Really engage the quads. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Let's do eight more eagle arms. We're moving on. Oh, beautiful. Move through that wet cement. Really feel that dynamic, big movement. 
You got it. Let's do heels to the front. Woo. Now take your hands up here. Sorry, you can heel tap or toe tap. Doesn't matter. Now your elbows are in line with your shoulders. We're gonna work a little bit of chest to even it out. In, two, out, two. Kiss the elbows. In, two, out, two. Working the chest right here. Nice and slow moving through wet cement. We're only doing the heels to keep the movement going. Whoo! Right here, keep it going. Now I want your elbows and your shoulders in that same line. Don't drop the elbows. Feel the chest. As you rotate, I want the elbows to kiss. Mwah. Keep going. See how this is a really big movement? Yeah. Ah. I know you're burning. I feel you. I know you're saying, Angie, we're burning. I know. Come on, let's challenge. Muscular endurance, let's go. You must challenge your body in order to change your body. Yeah? Have you heard that from me before? I think you have, right? So what are we doing? I'm gonna give you heels, shake it out. Just shake it right here. Oh, I'm giving you that time. Just to shake out those shoulders right here. We're gonna finish with a little front deltoid. We're not gonna have much time. Let's lift both arms up down up down let's finish the song all right you guys i'm going to put the weights down barefoot hit i'm going to give you six more opportunities yes aren't you lucky today six more opportunities remember opposite elbow oh opposite knee i know you remember six opportunities i gift you right now to improve our cardiovascular endurance hit it yeah, no more hit after this, you guys. You're in track five of six. One more sculpt track and we're moving on. So give me what you got. Come on. Rest. Move. Look at that left elbow, tap it. Left elbow crossing the midline, starting to work that rotation, right? Look, you gotta work rotation to get that elbow to the knee. I told you, we need to work it. Go. Come on. Elbow touches the knee if you can. Cross the midline of your body, let's go. Slice in the center. Slice. Press. Shake it off. Stop bending that right knee. Running man arms if you can. Focus on the lift. Hip abduction, balance core, and quad. You ready? Go. Your timing. I don't care how quick or how slow. Hip, knees, toes, point forward. Let's focus on that upstroke, on that lift, not the down, on the lift. Focus on the swing up. Let's go. Come on, teammate. Rest. Oh, you know you got that other leg. You know that. I'm gifting you with three more opportunities to show me what you got. I'm gonna show you what I'm made of. We're in it together. Look at me, we're in it together. Go! We're doing this workout right now, together. You, me, together. Dig deep. Show me what y'all made of. Come on, show me. I wanna see it. Come on, you are strong, you are fit, you are courageous. Your body is so strong. Rest. Yeah? All right, soft bend in that stabilizing leg. Working the glutes and ham. Two opportunities I'm gifting you. What are you gonna make of your opportunity? Go. 
Your timing. Focus on the lift. That's where that butt cheek and that hamstring are gonna grab. Balance, glutes, hamstrings, quads, natural core activation. I am doing a lot in this 35 minute workout. Other leg, then you get 30 seconds recovery and we hit track six of six and then you can cool down or move on with me. Other leg, make sure you're not doing the same leg. Feel that glute, feel that hamstring, feel that opposite quad. Focus on the lift. It's not on the down that bites, it should be on the lift. Recover. 30 seconds recovery. Now if you want water, grab water, but everybody is moving around. One last track, track six of six. Cardio sculpt. Small, small swig of water. How are we doing? Checking in. Beautiful, guys. We are all really doing good. But, but again, let's check in. We're still like having fun in that feel-good zone, right? Look at me. You're having fun in this feel-good light to light moderate intensity, right? You giving me a thumbs up? Are you giving me a high five on that? Yeah? Okay. Now, of course, you can make this a high intensity major push, but that is not the purpose of today's class. It's a feel good light, light moderate intensity. And that's what I'm driving home today. Not every workout has to be hard intensity. No. So I'm showing you. Okay, grab your weights. Last song, track six of six. All right, so you're gonna go on this wide, beautiful squat. You're gonna take your hands, palms in. We're gonna come on our toes and then down to the ground. Toes, toes, working the calves, working your back. Now, if you want, you can interlace your fingers. Interlace your fingers if you want. You're gonna feel your back, naturally engage. Up, down, working that ankle joint. Really wanna improve all the stabilizing muscles in through the ankle. Ooh. Okay, now feet hip width apart. Step feet fit width apart. Lift, lower. So I had you in the wide, wide squat, up, down, up, down. So toes, heels, toes, heels. Now soft bend, I want the elbows to guide to the back of the room. Up, down. Calf, ankles, and small muscles of your feet are getting worked right now. That's why we're doing what we're doing. Up, down, up, hold it up on your toes. Hold, hold, you will stay on your toes. We're gonna drive the weights down and around. Let's go, down, around, stay on your toes. Working tons of stabilizing muscles in your feet. You have extrinsic and intrinsic foot muscles. Feel your glutes, feel your calves, feel your ankles, and all those small muscles in your toes. Work, yeah? Feel that balance working. Straight down, out to the side. Straight down, out to the side. You've gotta challenge your body to work in different ways, you guys. Down. Now let's reverse, stay in your toes. Reverse the arm movement. Come on. Yeah, do you feel your core naturally activate as you lift your arms up? Now, feel this, do you feel that back activation as you lift your arms up? Woo! Yeah, you may shake forward, you may shake back. Let's work coordination, proprioception. Come on, come on. On your toes the whole time. Stiletto shoes. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna let you shake it off. Take it wide in a plie. Plie down and up. 
I'll give those arms a break. Knees are dropping to the back of the room. Drop your knees to the back of the room. Drop. Okay, now arms. One, two, three, other side. Working on lateral movement. Right here, palm faces in. One, two, three. Feel that lengthening and strengthening. Again, one, two, three. So pulse, two, three. Now I want those shoulders to slide on the back wall. Don't let them round forward. Ooh. One, two, three. One, two, three. You can eye gaze, can come to the ceiling. Three. So if you want, that will help. Two, three. So one, two, now come center. Shake it out really quick. Come back in that plie. We're gonna come up, watch me. Side, down, here we go. Up, two, side, two, down, two, row. There we go. Up, two, side, two, down, two, row, one. Again, up, two, side, two, down, two, row. One again, up, two, side, two, down, two, row one. Oh, again, up, two, out, two, down, two. Two more sets, drop the knees to the back of the room. Up, two, out, two, down, two, row one more set. Up, two, out, two, down, Two, continue to row. Up, down, up, come to your chin. Chin, down. Are you in that plie? Are you in that isometric contraction with your lower body? Yeah? One, two, three, sink lower. Four, knees drop to the back of the room. Shoulders set back. Down and away from your ears. Whoo! Ooh, take the left arm, reach, pull, put a bend in that right knee, pull, working back, rear deltoid, working like a little lateral lunge. Now right arm to the left, bend in the left, two, three, four, you're gonna give me four more, we're done, four, come on, finish, three, two and one if you're done with class cool down and stretch thank you for coming if you're done i burn 250 calories if you're sticking with me grab your towel grab a small swig of water grab your mat pilates core pilates back rotation and hip yoga style Towel off, guys. I'm going to give us a minute. Let me say hello because we know we have people that hop on. Good morning, Spade. Jane, how are we all doing? Judy. Woo, Laura, I know you're going to do this later. If you could see that you're good enough. Okay, are you all ready? Did you grab a small swig of water? Yeah. Okay. Woo. Welcome to this Pilates core back and yoga fusion. In yoga, we're focusing on rotation and hip opening. First song, we're just gonna roll the hip in and out. Quick warm up. All right, guys, you're gonna want a mat and a small towel. That's it for today's class. You know my name is Angie, Angie Fitness TV. Today's class, we're focusing on posture on rotation, on hip opening. Yeah? Sounds delicious, right? Yeah. Delicious. Ha! I'm so glad you're here, everyone. You are so good enough. We are blessed. We're in this together. Teammate, partner. Ooh, give me heel, hamstrings. 
Now it's a nice slow beat. We're just here in the first track, just to get nice and warm. Right here. Woo! Okay, we're just gonna roll those hips right to left. Place the backs of your hands on your forehead. Beautiful rolls, soft bend, a nice slight bend in your knees. Hip knees, toes pointing forward, elbows pointing to the back of the room. Reverse the circle, warming up and through your low, mid, back. 360 degree warm up and through your midsection. Beautiful. Right here. Woo. Now let's do a little squat. Sit back in your heels. Warming up that lower body. Quads, hams, butt, hamstrings. Sit back in your heels. Nice and equal. Lift your toes off the mat. Ooh, you want to get nice and warm before you go into any workout. Yeah? Nice and equal between that right and left leg. Don't press more on one side and less on the other. Can you give me heels with an arm row? We're finishing warming up that upper body. Woo! After this, we're going to grab our small towel and our mat. We have three Pilates tracks and four yoga tracks. Pilates yoga fusion today. Woo. We're gonna work on flexibility, mobility, stability, <coughs> and strength. Right here. Should have given you a beautiful overall warm up. Finish the row. Now toe taps. Pull it down, palms down. You're gonna feel this in through your back, in through your shoulders, palms face down. Move through the wet cement. Beautiful toe tap. Warm up's almost over. You should really feel that heat within your body, you guys. Never go into a workout, cold muscles, never, never, never. All right, grab your towel and grab your mat. We're ready to go into Pilates core. So, fundamentals. I want you to visualize you're moving through wet cement. Can you do that for me? Visualize you're moving through wet cement. So first of all, roll up your towel, just roll it up small dish towel, okay? Have your hands shoulder width apart. Soft bend in your elbow. Now we're gonna go up for two, and we're gonna bring the towel to the tops of the kneecaps. This is a pre-teaser. Ready? Looks like this. Up for two, down two. Hands are shoulder width apart. Now you don't have to use a towel. Anytime I move too quick, you slow it down, all right? You don't have to go to my beat. Up for two and down two. Up for two and down two. So you're rolling up one vertebra at a time, rolling down one vertebra at a time. Up one vertebra at a time. Let's slow it down into four. Roll it up for four. For four and three. Now take the towel over your head. Roll it down two three over your head. We got eight. One, two. Roll it up one vertebra at a time. Roll it down one vertebra at a time. Six more. One, two, three, and four. Move through wet cement. Don't plop it down. Roll. Two. Working core postural muscles. Moving through that wet cement. One, two, three and four. Don't take your hands behind your ears. Too much pressure on the rotator cuff. One, two, three and four. Move through the wet cement. Roll it down like a string of pearls. Two more. Come on. If you are moving through wet cement, you're controlling all the muscles in your body. You're nice and sticky and gooey 
and wet. All right. We're going to go six count up, straight legs. One, two, three, and four, five, six. Stretch here. Come down for eight, seven, six, and five, four, and three, two come up for eight, eight, seven, six, and five, four, three. Take the towel past your toes. Back, two, three, four, five, six. You got six more sets. You're nice, gooey, and sticky. You got to control it. You can't flop around. Each muscle you're controlling. Towel goes past the <laughs> toes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep that eight count. One, two, three, and four, five. You're nice and gooey and sticky going through that wet cement. If you're going through like quicksand, oh my gosh, you have to really control it. Again, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Go past your toes and lengthen. I love Pilates. We strengthen. We stabilize. Woo! Ah, two more. Right here. You're going to feel that natural core activation, and you're going to feel the lengthening in your hamstrings. Come on but you gotta really get those shoulders set back down and away from your ears. And you gotta listen to my cueing, really. Don't pull on your head, neck, or shoulders. Activate that transverse abdominus, the muscle below your belly button. Come on, let's get on fire here. Oh. All right, we're gonna take one over and do a beautiful stretch. All right, just get that towel past your toes. If you want to put your toes on the towel, you can. Little tidbit about me, I'm Balanced Body and Power Pilates Comprehensive Certified, and I've been teaching in Pilates studios for over 20 years. Yeah, I have. I have been certified comprehensively for 20 years. Yeah, about 20 years now. All right, let's roll it down. Roll! Move through that wet cement. All right, now what I want you to do is make sure you're on your mat because even I came off my mat. Okay, we're gonna take the towel. Our hands are shoulder width apart. Our knees are in tabletop position. We're gonna rotate, rotate. So we're gonna take opposite elbow to the inside of the opposite knee. So right now I just want you to have your hand shoulder width apart. Soft bend in your elbow. We are working, this is our second track, second Pilates track. So get those legs in tabletop position. Take your shoulders off the mat, opposite elbow to the inside of the knee. We're gonna turn and twist. Hold, two, three, and switch. One, two, three, and switch. You can look over your shoulder. One, two, three, and switch. One, two, three, and switch. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. You have four more, you guys. One, two, three, and switch. One, move through that wet cement. Three, and switch. Modify when you need to. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, you're gonna get a break. As you're taking your break, watch me. I'm gonna take my forehead to the knees, hand shoulder width apart. I'm gonna go out for four like this. One, two, three, and four. In, hold, come with me now. Out, two, three, and four. In, hold, seven more. Out, two, Three, move through wet cement. In, hold, hold, and hold. Out, two, three, and four. Hold it in, two, three, that's three. Go out, two, three, four. In, two, three, that's four. Out, two, three.
three and four. In, two, take a break when you need to. Three more, out, two, three, four. Move through wet cement. In, two, three, four. Last two, out, two, three, and four. In, two, three, and four. Last one, out, two, three, four. In, two, three, take a break. All right. You can have both feet on the ground. Super glue the insides of your knees. Let's go up for four, lift a leg. One, two, three, and four. Lift a leg, but the insides of your knees are super glued again. Insides of your knees are super glued. Ooh, if you can, both feet can be on the ground. Two more. One, two, three, four. Back. Two, you are moving through that wet cement. One, you are not pulling on your head, neck, or shoulders, and you're not jumping up. All right, back leg. Activate through the core. Oh, I know this is trying. Back, two, three, and four. Three more. Up, two, three, four. Roll down one vertebra at a time. You control the muscles. Move through that wet cement, that quicksand. I know you're burning, I know. All right, let's just go up for four feet on the ground, down for four, one, two, three. Let's finish with the pre-roll up and the pre-roll down. Both feet on the mat, you're nice, sticky and gooey. Really controlling it. Up and down. Up. Two. Three. Don't take your arms past your ears. Soft bend in those elbows. Rolling it up. One vertebra at a time. Rolling it down like a string of pearls. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I know you're feeling it. You feel it below your belly button. All right, you guys, let's just lift. Hips up to the ceiling. Lift. Right here, yes. Your glutes are a part of, of your core. Your glutes, some of the muscles attach right in the pelvis. So you gotta work your glutes, lift. Lift, focus on the lift. Your hands are shoulder width apart, right here. Now, if you want, you can take your hands over your head, keep the lift. One, two, lift, 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 lift. All right, you guys, this is our last Pilates track. We're gonna hit the back. So we focused on the core. We did get a little bit into the glutes for back. Now we're gonna do back. So you can have and hold on to your towel. All right, you're gonna come on your stomach. Last Pilates track for posture. Now, can you watch me before you do it? Because I don't want you uh, crooking your neck. Watch me. My hands are shoulder width apart, soft bend in my elbow. I'm gonna lift, I'm holding my towel. I have a soft bend in my elbow. My feet are hip width apart, and I'm just coming up and down. Let's go, hold it up. Two, three, down, you're looking down. Lift through the chest, working all your back muscles, you guys. Lift, hands are shoulder width apart, soft bend in your elbow, one. Your feet are not lifting off the ground. We've got four more. You're not pulling on your head, neck, or shoulders either. Feel this in your upper and mid back, guys. You're not looking at me. You're looking at your mat. I don't want undue tension on that head, neck, or shoulders. Let's go again. Lift, two, three, down. Lift, two, three, and down. Just two more. Lift, two, three, down. Lift, two, three, and down. Take a break. All right, so I want you to look at me while you're taking a break. Just rest your head on the side. I, I don't like you to crook your neck. Watch me. 
Now I'm going to have straight arms. Last time we had a bend in the elbow. My chin is to my chest, my feet aren't, and I'm going to lift. So I'm going to straight arm lift for three and come down. Now I have no tension on my head, neck, or shoulders. So did you see that? On that one, I have straight arms. Before we have bent, straight arms. Now look down. We're going to pulse up three, down one. Here we go. No legs. Up. Two, three, down one. Lift. Two, three, down two. Working back. Postural muscles. Three, down three. Your legs don't lift. Lift. Two, three, down four. Lift. Two, three, down five. Feel all the back muscles. Lift. Two, three, down. Lift. Two, three, down. Lift. Two, we're going to do four more, and I'm going to give you a break. Lift. Two, three, down. Lift. Two, three, down. Two more. Lift. Two, three, down. Lift. Two, three. Now take a break. So rest your hands on the side of your head. Watch me. I don't want you to crook your neck. Now we're going to point. We're going to flex our feet. A strong flex of our feet. And the heels. We're going to activate the glutes. We're going to lift. We're going to pulse up three, down one. Here we go. Lift. Two. Your upper body does not lift. Strong flex in your feet. You're going to feel those glutes activate. You need them for a strong core. Let's go. Pulse up three, down one. Up. Upper body is rested. One. So you're focusing on the lift. I know we're burning. Focusing on that lift. You're going to give me four more. Lift, two, three. Lift, two, three. Two more sets. Up, two, three. One more. Take a break. Woo! All right, grab your towel. Now, we're going to just have a bend. Can you watch me so you don't crook your neck? Watch me. Just watch me. Lifting my chest, flexing my heels. The towel comes to my forehead. My elbows open to the back of the room, just like this. Flex your heels. Really working muscles for posture. Are you ready? We're going to pulse up three. Down one. Soft bend in your elbow. Lift. Two. Three. Down. Lift. I want your feet flexed down, lift, two, elbows open to the back, one, two, three, down, so the towel is on your forehead, soft bend in your elbows, one, two, three, down, four more, one, two, three, three more, one, two, three, two more, one, Two, press up nice and equal between both sides. Can you just hold it up? Hold, flex your feet. Elbows drop back, flex your feet. You can rest your forehead into the towel. Lift your chest off the mat. You're not looking at me. You are not looking at me. And four, and three, child's pose. Yes, I asked a lot of your back. Oh, beautiful segue. You can get rid of your towel. We are going to go into rotation, two tracks of rotation. And we need this for our mobility and flexibility for our body. Two tracks rotation, two tracks hip opening, and we're done. Set your butt on your heels. Woo! Oh, yeah. Release through that back. All right, come up. Let's do that cat-cow stretch. Let's just kind of make sure we're warmed up. You are timing on the cat-cow stretch. Working spinal mobility. You can go as slow or as quick as you want. Beautiful cat-cow. Spinal mobility, articulation right here. Nice and slow, moving through that wet cement. Rotation is really underutilized in our body. 
We don't want to get stiff. We don't want to ever lose rotation, you guys. Woo. All right, come to neutral. All right, you're going to act like your knees are under your hips. Your hands are under your shoulders. You have a dog tail. And just move the hips outside and in. You're working hip rotation right here. So you have a soft bend in both elbows. You have a dog tail, or you're just kind of, actually, that's not a good analogy. You are just circling a pot of stew with your pelvis. And your upper body is just coming along for the ride. Reverse your timing. So really do those full circles. Really opening up and through that low back as well. Enjoy these beautiful circles. You're going to feel this in your back, in your hips, wherever you're tight. You're just stabilizing through the upper body. All right, let's take that back leg forward right here. We just took our back leg and we took it forward. Right now, we're opening in through the front of that hip. Your hands are on each side of that foot. Just sit and enjoy this stretch right here. We are working on hip mobility and rotation in the next four songs. So right now, really just relax that upper body. Feel right here in this hip, open up. Now you're gonna take your back hand and take it to the ceiling, rotation. Your eye gaze is coming to the ceiling. We're working hip and rotation in this pose. Eye gaze to the ceiling. Lengthen, just go deeper into the stretch as you loosen up. All right, take that hand down. Now, if you wanna go deeper, lift your hands. Eye gaze to the ceiling. You're gonna really get a lot deeper in that hip flexor. Chest is open and proud. Hip opening and rotation again. All right, take that hand, both hands come on the inside of that foot and that top hand rotates. Eye gaze to the ceiling. Lengthen and breathe through this. Natural inhalations and exhalations. Let the muscles release. Mobility, flexibility. All right, walk your hand to the other side. Woo! So we're just naturally going into that other side. So I always like to start with each hand between the foot, and we're gonna sit here, so make sure you're working that other side, and we're just gonna start that hip mobility and that rotation, but let's sit in this stretch, in this hip flexor stretch. So you're gonna feel this <clears throat> in the front of that hip flexor. Relax and through the upper body. Breathe it through. No tension in the head, neck, or shoulders. Just let it release, let it go. You're gonna take your back hand, lift your fingertips to the ceiling. Eye gaze to the ceiling if you can. Feel the lengthening of your arms, feel that beautiful rotation in through your back. And you're gonna hear 
feel your hip flexor opening up as well. Come back, you place your hands between both knees. Place your hands between your foot. Let's just sit here. One more time, easing into that hip flexor. All right, and if you want now, let's just begin to lift, to go a little bit deeper. Expand through that rib cage. Really feel that stretch and through that hip flexor right here. Opening, lengthening, creating space in our muscles so they can breathe. Yoga is like allowing the joints and the muscles to breathe and go back into their normal position because you're lengthening them again. All right, you're gonna take your hands, place them on the inside of the foot, you need a front hand, fingertips to the ceiling. All right, take your hand down, shake it out really quick. Since we're already here, let's go ahead and take that hand down. Eye gaze to the ceiling and let that top hand just hang. Really working and lengthening all in through your hip. Point that toe, lengthen that leg, lengthen that arm. Let your head hang if it can. All right, let's just walk it to the other side. So you're gonna point this left toe. You're gonna really lengthen through your left arm and feel all this lengthening in through your body. All right, take it up. Come up on your knees, everyone. Just knees under your hips. All right, so we're just going to rotate. We're gonna take this outside hand. We're gonna thread the needle, taking it under, butt on your heels. We're threading the needle, opening up in through the shoulders, but it's also working rotation. So visualize your butt is coming to your heels. The hand that you threaded the needle, the palm is up. And you're just feeling that rotation. Now come up, take that front hand, place it in front, back hand, you're gonna thread the needle, rotation, and sit your butt on your heels. Last two songs. This is shoulder opening. This is rotation as well. Unthread the needle. Curl your toes under. Come into downward facing dog for me. Let's just stretch the back side of your body really quick. Release, shake your head yes, shake your head no. Just release, press into, press into the pad of your hands. Oh, 
nice and evenly. Now we're just gonna take that leg that's in the front and we're gonna pigeon pose it. So we're taking that heel to the opposite hip and we're starting to really open up and through the deep lateral rotators. Your hands can be here, you can be on your forearms, or you can go even further. So opposite heel to opposite hip. Feel it all in through here. Beautiful hip opening right here. So you're relaxing your upper body. No tension in the head, neck, or shoulders. Breathing deep with each inhalation and each exhalation. Your body needs this style of workout. You can't just push all the time. This is a beautiful addition to any high intensity workout. You wanna sit in these stretches and just give your body that time to relax, renew, and release. Curl that toe under, come up on your hands, Press back into downward facing dog. Try to get those heels on the ground. Press nice and evenly between your hands. Now take that back leg and the heel comes forward, opposite heel, opposite hip. Find your point that works for you. Relax through your upper body. And enjoy this deep lateral rotation stretch. It's gonna help open up and through your pelvis and hip this exercise or this stretch. body just melt curl that back to under lift your hands up downward facing dog beautiful 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 all right come up on your knee come down to your knees come on your butt all right Take that left leg. You're gonna just hold it like a baby. Hold that foot like a baby and just work on that hip right here. We're just moving it in and out. Sit up nice and tall. All right, you're gonna continue doing this or if you have the flexibility, you're gonna just straight leg, in and out. You're not rounding forward at the chest. Don't round forward. If you round forward, you're not ready for the straight leg. If you got a round, you're not ready. Chest tall and proud. All right, let's take this leg out right here to the side. I want that right hand to reach to the outside of that left foot if you can. Working that rotation here because I'm having you rotate from the hip. So I'm lengthening and stretching a lot of muscles in the upper body. Last song. All right, let's go ahead and grab that right leg. Hold it like a baby. Right here. So that chest is open, it's tall, and it's proud. So you're not hunching at all. Just gently moving that hip joint in and out. Working on creating flexibility and through that hip joint. Now, only if you can, 
straight leg, in and out, same thing. Or you can hold it like a baby, but if you have to round forward at the chest, you're not ready for straight leg. All right, you're gonna set that leg down. You're gonna take your left hand. You're gonna rotate that chest towards the right leg. Try to reach the outside of that right foot. All right, I want you to just take your heels together, your toes together, drop the knees out, hip mobility right here. Beautiful inhale, exhale. You can take pressure elbows into the insides of your knees, drop them down and feel that beautiful stretch in through your groin, release in through the upper body. Release, just let it go. Take it up, sit however you want. Right hand on the left knee. Look over that left shoulder, rotation. Sit up tall. Sit up tall. Look over the right shoulder. Sit up tall. Come center. We're going to finish. Legs wide, walk it forward. Hip mobility all in through here. Just major hip mobility, stretching through inner thighs, outer thighs, deep rotators, working the posterior chain of your body. Just release. Okay, take it up, thumbs up. Take your left hand behind you. Rotation. Left hand center. Right hand behind you, rotation. Come center, walk it forward one very last time. Just sit, relax, let it release. Walk it in, walk your feet in, shake it off, deep breath in. And exhale, come to heart center. One more time, deep breath in. center. Before we end class, I want you to stand up and just feel in through your hips and feel in through your upper, mid, lower back. And wow, you should feel really, really good right now. Remember, if you do my workouts and you do a lot of low impact, high intensity strength training circuit style workouts with me, you really need to make sure you're doing this workout, Pilates core for posture, and yoga rotation and hip rotation, 
this workout, you need to make sure you are doing it one time per week. Notice how you feel. Notice how you're standing. Notice how you're open. Do not forget to work on mobility, flexibility, and postural muscles. It is just as important as strength training and cardiovascular endurance training. My name is Angie, Angie Fitness TV. It's been a pleasure, and I will see you for our next workout together. Okay, guys, I am, give me one second. Let me find my glasses. Let me find my glasses, and we will chit-chat for a um, quick Huh, for a quick moment, how about that? Let me grab my ball. Okay, beautiful class today. Uh, yeah, there's my glasses. Okay, um, I did, let me see. Yeah, not bad, I did 300 calories. Uh, that's not bad for this style of workout at all. Oh, Virginia, have a beautiful day. Um, have a, yeah, have a great weekend, Spade. I know some of you have to go. I know some of you can't stay for like this whole class. I get it, I get it. People don't have time like how I have time. So, um, absolutely. Yeah, something. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, what else? So, just wanted to say hi. And we got 22 people on class next Tuesday and class next Thursday. So, next Tuesday, it's going to be a basic, basic step and total body sculpt next Tuesday. And Thursday is going to be a rebounding uh, cardio, <coughs> cardio and core and barefoot box and uh, sculpt. That's what, I, that's what I decided. Laura, hello, beautiful. Absolutely, a real feel-good workout today. Oh, thank you, Laura. Okay, so next Tuesday is a very basic, Step, I'm going to put throw in some um, basic step hits. So I'll do one simple combination. I'll throw in uh, uh, using the step bench hit, like, you know, hit two hit tracks. Um, but it's going to be basic step and total body sculpt or something like that, okay? And then Thursday is going to be 30 minutes rebounding and 30 minutes barefoot fusion, something like that. Yeah, because I'm going to pull out the rebounder and uh, next Thursday. So I think maybe the first part of class next week, next Tuesday. Oh, yeah, Jane. Absolutely. Jane said uh, those deep stretches were so good. I feel so much more open. Thanks. Absolutely. And that was the whole purpose of today's class. That was literally the whole purpose of today's class. It was like, don't get me wrong. We, were, we worked on the light to light moderate intensity. And we got a great workout in. We didn't over push. We didn't under push. We had just the perfect amount of push today. And we really worked so many muscles in such a beautiful way. And I really made sure we hit hip opening and rotation big time. Loved it. Um, so I think the first part of class next Tuesday is going to be cardio, uh, basic step aerobics, and step hit. And then the second part of class will be like a total body, um, total body workout, something like that. I've, I've just got to figure out what I'm going to name it. You guys, I always have the hardest time with names. I always have the hardest time figuring out what, what name I'm going to call it so people understand it. <laughs> That's always my hardest part of the whole thing. So next Tuesday, next Thursday, next Tuesday and next Thursday. All right, you guys, it is uh, Friday. I have a lot I have to do. I've got to time stamp this workout. And um, spread the word. That's all I ask. If you guys love me, uh, if you guys blog or mention or hashtag Angie Fitness TV, like whatever you do in your world, just get the word out, guys. That, that's all I want. Get the word out. So next Tuesday and Thursday is class. I'm so glad everybody was here. I know y'all got to run off, and I got to run off too because I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day with my grandbaby. Yes. I'm so excited, and um, I'm going to shower. Okay. I lo I'm looking at myself, and I'm like, girl, you have got to do something with your hair. That's what I'm thinking. As I'm looking at myself there, I'm like, girl, 
you, you better like brush and get your head done. Something like that. <laughs> I know. Anyway, have a beautiful weekend, Laura. Laura, have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Autumn Rose, have a beautiful weekend ahead, guys. And I'll see you maybe next Tuesday and Thursday. And if not, remember, they're always recorded and they're always available to you. All right, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Bye.